thanks for calling. Now that we've lost 98% of our audience, let's reward the other 2% with a commercial. When we come back, we'll have a special studio guest. Special because he advertises on this radio station. Remember, it's not a conflict of interest if we own all the radio stations in town. We'll be right back after this message. In today's fast-paced world, a split second can be the difference between achieving your dreams... Hey, I just won the Nobel Peace Prize! ...and not. Oh, wonderful wrestling. More Americans are realizing if you don't have the latest and greatest technological devices, you will fall behind. I didn't upgrade my personal organizer, and two days later I was diagnosed with a terminal illness. <laughs> That's exactly why you should come visit the friendly people at House of Tomorrow, and they'll set your... to welcome Fernando Martinez, who it uh, says here is the founder of Fernando's New Beginnings, a revolutionary new way of saving your marriage. Fernando, welcome. The pleasure is mine, Laszlo. It is an honor to be here. I feel blessed. Uh, thanks. So, tell me about Fernando's New... How'd you say, sacred? The bond between the father and the mother, it is made in heaven and in the bedroom. Do you know what I mean? Uh, I think so. For my people, it is the holiest, most sacrosanct thing imaginable. Like a church. Yet, for it to be a happy marriage, it must also be like a brothel. The woman, she must be many, many arts. Be skilled in making house, cooking, changing the diapers on the babies. And she must also be a whore. A vixen in the bedroom. Imaginative, exotic, constantly fresh. It is impossible. You change diapers and then you are a French maid? Fernando thinks not. Fernando knows not. Well, I mean, you know, it's an age-old problem. I mean, how do you party think it's huh? in America? Okay, I'm going to show that creepy me the word vicious. How, Laszlo? How? Tell me how, and I give you a big, big kiss. Like I gave a woman. But I am not going to give you a big kiss. Not a kiss like I gave a woman or even a donkey. Because, because you do not know. Well, I mean, in this case, ignorance uh, kind of seems like bliss. I, I wasn't really up for kissing on air. I mean, why not, Laszlo? Am I not attractive? Am I not irresistible even to you? Well, no matter. Why all this talking about kissing? I mean, you brought it up. No, my friend. You say you not want to kiss me. I was talking how to say, hypothetically, you make me all personal. It's a big difference. If I say, imagine if your wife was a girl. Carl, you can uh, hi. Uh, so I, say, I, uh, hey, I need more wife, time to get you your money. But if you just step break. into my office, you're it's far so too late for that, it's Marty. You had your chance. Anyway, but now I'm taking over the business. starts flirting with his secretary, takes her out for a drink. One thing leads to another, and before you know it, he's found all kinds of uses. And I can save your marriage. <laughs> My marriage doesn't need saving. <laughs> hey, you are the one mentioning the pretty assistant and the office manager. And the Aikarama, my friend. Listen, Laszlo. And listen very closely. Your marriage is a gift. It's a present from me, Bob. But you are a man. I think we see by now you are no angel. I can save you. For when the man, he sees wife all fat, all early, with the dirty diapers and the dirty bangs and the scrubbing brush, and who knows what else. He's not thinking of marriage bad. He's thinking about what you thinking about your pretty assistant. We already know that. See? Uh, go on. But Laszlo... What if you act on your fantasy for your little secretary with the short skirt and the pretty eyes and uh, coming here and there smiling? What then, my friend? What then? Uh... 